Hi there, welcome once again to the Dukascopic TV studio, I'm Ben Jones. Alongside me to discuss some of the more recent developments in the biotech industry is Irma Kunjan. Irma, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you, uh, Benjamin, for having me again. Not a problem. Now, if we can begin by having a bit of a recap on the biotech industry, what are some of the key developments over the past decade? So the biotech uh, industry 10 years ago was on the fringe and uh, uh, people uh, knew l much less about it than they know uh, at these days and it was like in a closed circle but with time it gained uh, a lot of um, um, let's say credibility and uh, it's I mean the demand for biotech industry uh, boosted drastically so it became more popular it became more accessible and uh, everybody like pharmaceutical companies cosmetic companies even companies new, uh, specialized in nutrition they all turned uh, to the um, uh, to the biotech industry for example in the case of pharmaceutical industries they had uh, they were in quest of new molecules so they turned to the biotech industry uh, they needed to add new products to their regimen so Again, uh, the biotech industry was the reference. Uh, the c companies like um, specialized in nutrition, let's say nutritional bars or whatever, uh, they call themselves nutraceuticals. And even cosmetic companies like big companies are investing huge, huge uh, uh, budget uh, in um, uh, innovation and uh, research. For example, in nanotechnology to deliver more efficiently, let's say their uh, um, um, the, the, the nutrients and uh, now how much it's safe we don't know but I mean this is uh, what what's causing mostly the demand for the biotech industry so but the biotech industry became with time uh, the reference uh, a reference for credibility innovation research and a big big marketing argument to sell the products Fantastic. Now it seems that biotech and beauty are becoming more integrated as well. Exactly, like uh, like the other, um, let's say, pharma pharmaceutical industries that are acquiring biotech companies. Cosmetics also turned to the biotech field in the sense that uh, they tried it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, they invested a lot in nanotechnology, and this was uh, to more efficiently deliver uh, the, the 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 active ingredients uh, and they the nano particles for delivery for efficacy and all these uh, nutrients in the cosmetic industry and uh, even the cosmetic uh, industry it was uh, let's say it became the trend to call themselves let's say cosmeceuticals which which is between let's say the pharma uh, I mean the medical and uh, the beauty so it gave more credibility to the cosmetic image as well Okay, and as well, plastic surgeons seem to want to involve themselves in this. Exactly, thing. because I mean, in the in the in the field of cosmetic, uh, in the cosmetic field, plastic surgeons, dermatologists. I mean, mostly plastic surgeons are uh, one. Of, I mean, they are the most credible uh, professionals in the field. Therefore, uh, when they endorse a product, it means the product is excellent. And with time. Uh, I guess uh, they are also business oriented. Uh, they wanted to create their own brand, their own um, name on the creams they want to sell in their clinics. So what they did is either they wanted to white label the existing brands or create their own brands with their name. Uh, and uh, this would boost um, both like uh, their products, the cosmetic, uh, what they're proposing to the patients. And of course, behind it, it's their credibility and the scientific image. For example, like a few years ago, the organic uh, products were like the trendy um, uh, products to buy and, you know, it was in the cosmetic field. But how, how safe it was and how scientific it was, we don't know. But for in the case of uh, scientifically endorsed products, like uh, products that are, um, um, let's say, endorsed by the plastic surgeons or dermatologists, they give lots of credibility to uh, the cosmetic uh, uh, image. And for example, um, and, and that's why, for example, uh, big companies comp cosmetic companies are um, investing lots of lots of money in uh, biotech research. It's all to gain a scientific image and give credibility to what they're selling.
Okay, and has your organization ever been approached by a plastic surgeon? Well, actually, yes, there was a small incident like a few years ago. Uh, there was this uh, um, very glamorous, uh, renowned uh, plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills who actually uh, wanted, um, was interested in our line, in our skincare line. And, uh, well, we were very happy. And then he said, uh, okay, I would like to um, white label your products, meaning to buy in bulk and put his name on it. Well, I should say we were very flattered, but uh, we never accepted because we wanted, we were proud of, you know, selling our own brand and doing it with our own credibility and, of course, with the efficacy of the product uh, Lapo. Irma, once again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Benjamin, for having me. And thank you for watching. Do make sure you keep clicking back to Dukascopy TV as we'll be bringing you plenty more updates and exclusive interviews. Bye for now. I'm <laughs> sorry.